Hi, I'm Craig Austin, Agronomic Service Representative with Syngenta. We're here in Mount Joy today to look at a Fusarium head blade trial and talk about Miravis Ace, our most recent fungicide for head scab control. Miravis Ace contains an SDHI, which is a new mode of action for head scab. But let's take a look here first at our untreated check. So you see very good disease pressure in here in our untreated. We've had a lot of warm, wet weather this spring through flowering, and as a result, we've got a lot of disease. Now the concern with Fusarium is a reduction in yield, but also, of course, toxin production. Now, if you look at the symptoms in here, you may not necessarily see the classic bleaching of the spikelets or that red-orange salmon color of the spores, but we're about a week out from harvest, so we have a bit more advanced uh, symptomology in here, but you can see very, very high disease pressure. So let's see how the fungicides fared in this disease pressure. Here we've got Miravis Ace. Now, when you're used to controlling uh, head scab with a fungicide application, one of the hardest things to do is get the application timing right. You gotta spray it flowering in order to get good efficacy. And what we're looking at here with Miravis Ace is that it actually allows for a broader application window, 50% head emergence all the way through flowering. So this plot here is the 50% head emergence spray. And you can see very good control of the fusarium even with that early timing. And we don't have the symptoms, we don't have the, nearly the fusarium that we have in the untreated check. Now again, that's going to mean higher yields and lower dawn or toxin levels with even an early application of, of fusarium, of Miravis Ace for the fusarium. Now if you'll follow me, let's take a look over here to the Prosaro and Corumba at flowering applications. So here we've got uh, the current commercial standards. So we've got Prosaro at flowering and we've got Corumba at flowering. Now, if you use these products at flowering, like their labels indicate, you see suppression of the disease, lower levels of fusarium, whether it's Prosaro or whether it's Corumba. But if you look above these plots, you'll look at a 50% head emergence spray of Prosaro and of Corumba and you see a much more reduced efficacy of those products. Whereas when you compare the 50% head emergence of Miravis Ace to the flowering timings of Prosaro Corumba, you don't see that loss in, in, in efficacy uh, with Miravis Ace. So that's, that's the key with controlling for uh, fusarium diseases, is getting that application timing right. It's very tricky with your current options. You're busy planting corn, or it's been raining and you can't spray, or you're, it's been raining and you can't get in your field because your ground's wet, or you've got an uneven stand with multiple stages of flowering in your field. Having a tight window makes it very challenging to get the application timing right. But with Miravis Ace and having a 50% head emergence all the way through flowering application, it makes it much easier to get that application timing just right.